All right, folks, welcome to the MRD Farms channel. Today, we're out on the property, and we're going to swing around here real quick. And you see, we got a bunch of logs. So, move around slowly, not get anybody sick here. I've been out logging and uh, cleaning up the east side of the property, and some of the end result of this. Smaller logs over here, along with a pallet and some stakes. And then uh, panning over here to larger logs over there. So just to increase the agricultural space I have, I've been clearing out on the east side of the property line. There's a couple of cherry trees that were in here as well as a lot of tree of heaven. So I've got a couple of trees left to cut out and then we got stump removal. So I've got uh, grass seed straw down a little bit of a burn area down there and uh, further down we got another little burn area that I'm trying to get to I'm get some topsoil on that and get that kind of cleaned up. The field, well the field's the field. You know we've had all rain continuously here which is good but uh, we really haven't been able to get fertilizer on here and here it is what uh, May 11th. <laughs> so today Finally, I'm going to have the uh, co-op out here with the spray truck, and we're going to go ahead and get some 2,4-D on this, and we're going to get liquid nitrogen on this, about 40 units of it. Got no other option. Um, you know, I was thinking about going ahead and get pelletized fertilizer and stuff like that, but unfortunately, uh, their truck has broke down, so the spreader. Uh, so this is a viable option. Just go ahead and get the uh, spray truck in here. Let's go ahead and get something on here. Get some growth going. Get some weed killed. And, uh, yeah. All right, folks. Well, he, we're two minutes into the video here. So let me do this. Uh, let me take a pause. Um, I'll bring you back when the spray truck's out here. And you can see, um, for those of you who have never seen a spray truck operation, um, you can see what, how that works. See you back in a few seconds. All right, folks. You're back with me. But unfortunately, several days after the weed application, and it's actually May 14th, so the video I had of the spray truck uh, was corrupted. I can't use it, unfortunately. So here we are several days later. It looks like the weeds are pretty much decimated with the 2,4-D, and uh, we ended up putting 40 units of nitrogen on here, liquid nitrogen, as to say. And that has substantially, with the rain, has really, really increased the crop here from what you saw a couple days ago. So we should have some good yield this year. We're we'll see how much we uh, can get out of here. You'll notice some tire marks in the field there. That's from the spray truck. It's just a standard F550 uh, Ford uh, truck body with a tank on the back and 25-foot booms on each side uh, for a 50-foot boom going through here spraying like it did. So unfortunately we have another issue as it rose up here, a gone going issue I've had with some folks. And that is trespassing. So I've had to put up no trespassing signs due to contractors and other nefarious people that seem to want to use the field as a racetrack or do donuts in it everything like that. They don't understand this is an agricultural crop that I'm growing and that are causing field damage. So I can't prosecute here in Virginia unless I post signs. And so I have post signs all the way around the edge of the perimeter of the property. So persons beware, I will prosecute. I will spend my time in court and I will sit there and make sure that you have to pay. If I have to sit there and hunt you down and garnish you, your wages, I should say. And I will sit there and uh, recoup the loss on this, on this field. The way hay prices are going up through this year and chemical prices for fertilizer and uh, weed control, I have to protect my investment. And yes, I know it's a micro field. But every blade of grass counts. The common theme I get from folks when I when they say, you know, tell them about crop damage and stuff like that, they say, oh, it's just grass. Well, they don't realize that this is going into the beef industry. 
a cow is going to eat this. A nice black, black Angus cow is going to eat it, matter of fact. And they're going to sit there and uh, grow big and fat, put nice marbleization on that beef, make nice hamburgers and steaks for all of us to enjoy. They don't get it that when trash rolls in here, a cow can't ingest plastic and other trash items. Not to make us into a ramble. It is what it is. All of us face the same issues. I'm just a small farmer trying to make a living like anyone else. And everybody wants to sit there and uh, thinks they can just do and come in here and do what they want. Well, those days have ended. Anyhow, that's an update from MRD Farms. Um, I am zoned agricultural, although I have homes to the side of me that are not that's residential. I am zoned agricultural, so in the county. And I may want to maintain that status. So that's why we sit there and do what I do here. Anyhow, uh, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll sit there and bring up uh, some more updates of what we're doing. And uh, you know what, before I cut off here, well, let me go over to the uh, east side of the field. I should give you an update there. And you can see the difference between uh, a couple days ago and the difference between today. Hang on, we'll be back in a couple seconds. Okay, we're back. And we're walking along the east side here where I've cut. And uh, you can actually see the grass that I've put down, grass seed and straw, that we're starting to get grass coming up. The rain and proper temperatures are getting the seed to properly do its thing, sprout, grow, become a nice uh, viable plant that can be harvested. So I've got stumps, yep, yep. And I've still got two trees I got cut out that are on my side here, the two with the, the orange spray paint and the stumps. So uh, it's getting too hot. I really, really do not want to sit here and uh, be cutting in the summertime. It's just too stinking hot. And then this thing, this abomination here of a tree of heaven's uh, tree trunk, uh, that's going to be a winter time deal to cut that out. Some leftover straw, and we've got some, uh, I think there's a cherry tree right there with some glass on top of it. But then some more tree of heaven stumps and that I've cut out. And the rest of this is all coming up pretty good. So, some more rain coming in today, tomorrow, and Monday. Oh yeah. And speaking one more thing of security, I'll do another video on security cameras. But this field has one, and with plans of several more going in here that are on uh, T-Mobile. If you go through the cell network, report to me live, pan tilt zoom, it will do a review of the Rio Link PTZ. Sorry, spin around too fast here. Anyway, this is what we got going on. This is the field update. We're about uh, some places over two feet tall. So good. We want a good high yielding first uh, cut. Look probably about uh, anywhere from the first week of June to probably mid June, maybe late June, depending on the weather. We want to make sure that uh, the, my custom guy gets a good harvest out of here. Anyway, MRD Farms, we're out.